Today we recognize Rockway's Founders Day, a day designated to honor the beginning of Rockway Mennonite Collegiate a school that was visioned and imagined for 76 years ago on February the 15th, 1945. Last year, we had the opportunity to gather in Rockway's Triple Gym to celebrate Rockway's 75th birthday through word, music, visuals, and community building activities. I continue to be grateful we could gather together at that time in person and commemorate this important milestone in the life of this wonderful school. In this unique context of World War II, Rockway was imagined and realized to honor the Anabaptist Mennonite tradition. The mission of Rockway was to be a school that would integrate sound academic learning with growth and character and faith, together with a passion for peacemaking and a service to God and all creation. In this context of today's circumstances, this mission, vision, and values continue to be relevant. This chapel will allow us to remember and have gratitude for the past, reflect and share comfort in the present, and have faith on what is yet to come. I would now like to turn it over to Betty Priest, Chair of Rockway's Board of Directors, who will offer an opening prayer on this important day in the life of our community. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, as we gather for this Founders Day Chapel, we are especially aware of our need for your care. In this pandemic season, where our patterns of life and work and school are upended, where some have suffered illness or have lost loved ones, where some have lost income or meaningful work, where some are exhausted or impatient, lonely or afraid, where we miss the closeness of human connection, we lean on you for comfort, for wisdom, and for care. Open our eyes to see the goodness in another, and may we offer our goodness in return. Open our ears to hear moments of laughter and joy, and may we too be blessed with a smile and with gratitude. Open our hearts to find wonder in the everyday moments of our lives, and may we also bring wonder into the lives of those around us. At this time, we give thanks for our Rockway School, for our faculty, staff, administration, and principal who work tirelessly to create a positive learning experience for our children. We say thanks also for Rockway's families for entrusting their children to our school. And we say thanks for Rockway's friends, alumni, and donors who continue to support our school. Most importantly, we give thanks to you, breath of life and source of being, for upholding us, for blessing us, and for sustaining us. With gratitude we pray. Amen. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in a perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Thank you students for reading this scripture, which was our anchor text for our 75th year. Rockway is a community that has sustained itself for 76 years, being faithful to its mission, committed to clothing itself in compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, patience, and of course, love. Rockway was here 76 years ago, and Rockway is here today. Together, we anticipate 76 more years to come. An important part of Rockway's Founders Day is reminding ourselves of Rockway's story and how we got here. Let's take a moment now and reflect on Rockway's history. 
On February 15, 1945, delegates at a conference for the Mennonite Conference of Ontario decided they wanted to begin a new high school in the KW area. The goal was to open the school in September, seven months from now. No property had been purchased, no staff had been hired, and no students had been recruited. It was an unsettling time historically. While the end of World War II was in sight, Adolf Hitler still directed German forces and the Japanese military appeared to be able to fight for many more months. While all of this was going on, it, it seems surprising that a new school would be launched during this time, but it moved forward. Three subcommittees were formed, finance, property, and administrative, all under a coordinating executive committee. The property committee had to move quickly and the very land on which we are today was purchased, including a large farmhouse, a barn, and a garage. Take a walk with me and look at the picture. Here's our barn, here's our farmhouse, and here's a great map of the rockery, which is where we're located. It was hard to find an appropriate name. Would it be Menno Simons Memorial Institute? What about Bethany Academy, Benjamin Eby, Whitmerson Academy, or Gilead Academy? Well, Rockway Mennonite School was finally endorsed. It was chosen because it named the location of the school, close to Rockway Gardens. But most importantly, the word rock had strong connections to the Bible. And of course, a principal needed to be hired as well as a teacher. Harold Girl was appointed principal and the first teacher was Salome Bauman. It's still wonderful to connect with some of Harold Girl's children. And take note with me here. Here is Harold Grow, uh, the first teacher, Salome Bauman, as well. The first year, they decided to renovate the farmhouse to accommodate the school. 27 students crowded into the grade 9 room, and 11 in grade 10 that first year. And throughout that first year, the property committee had to figure out whether they would continue to renovate the existing property or to build. Many meetings later and a fundraising plan, it was decided to remodel the barn for the 1946 school year. And several years after that, in 1954, our existing West Wing was opened. So grade seven and eight students, I just wanna make kind of a cool connection. Right here, around the farmhouse here, is where you play outside at your noon hour every day when you're playing football or hanging out together. So that makes kind of a cool connection to our present and our past. So here we are today, 76 years and over 4,000 alumni later, and numerous additions have taken place since that original build in the early 1950s. Throughout all of the ups and downs of the past 76 years, the vision and mission of Rockway has remained strong and steadfast. It is a school that provides a strong academic and faith-based education while also creating opportunities for our students to grow in character and faith and the ability to positively impact the world around them. It is such an honor to lead a school that strives to do this. It's my pleasure now to introduce our guest speakers for chapel, Chanel Cressman and Jeremy Roth. Both Chanel and Jeremy are Rockway alumni from 2004. They are two of more than 4,000 alumni. As high school sweethearts, they have grown together over the past almost 20 years. Chanel is now a naturopathic doctor who owns her own clinic, Sprout Wellness in Kitchener, and Jeremy teaches anatomy at the University of Waterloo. I had the privilege to teach both Chanel and Jeremy, and they were awesome students. I suspect they will have some fun stories to share about their time here at Rockway. As alumni, both of them continue to be involved with Rockway. Chanel volunteered on the board for six years. We regularly see them at Rockway events, and they continue to connect with a network of friends they established while students here. Chanel and Jer, we look forward to hearing you share some stories of the past and the present, stories that create community, and look forward to hearing about your hopes for the future of Rockway as well. Thank you, Anne, for the introduction. We're honored and excited to be a part of this chapel. Today, we'd like to share with you a little bit about ourselves, our time at Rockway, and what Rockway has continued to mean to us. So to start, let's hop in the Wayback Machine to the year 2000. We just survived Y2K, ask your parents. 9-11 hadn't happened yet. Quick silver visors worn backwards were actually considered cool, and a certain shy, chubby kid 
uh, came to his first day uh, in grade nine at Rockway. As fate would have it, I was seated next to an outgoing, outspoken, no-nonsense girl in French class. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's when we really hit it off, sparks were flying, and it was just a matter of time before we got together. Well, you'd be wrong. According to Chanel, I didn't say a single word to her that entire semester. And while I would argue that is not entirely true, I definitely was terrified of her and avoided saying as much as possible. But in all seriousness, having arrived in grade nine, I was truly amazed at how quickly I felt welcomed into the student body uh, and made friends with people who had been there for two years before me. For me, I attended uh, Rockway starting in grade seven. And I remember being so upset that I was going to Rockway and having to come there in grade seven that I got my entire grade six class and teacher to sign a petition so that I wouldn't have to go. But alas, it didn't work. My parents did not budge and for that I will be forever grateful. As soon as I entered the doors at Rockway, I knew something special was happening there and I was glad. The theme for today's chapel is creating community. Our time at Rockway gave us important lessons in building community and the value of having that community. Community is something that you build together and actively work on and contribute to. We are so lucky that many of our friends that we had in high school are still our friends today and some of our best supports. In the last four years, we've gone through some difficult times and we are so lucky to feel the warm embrace of our Rockway uh, community throughout. Today, we're celebrating Founders Day, a time to honor the founders of this school. The halls and classrooms of Rockway not only inspired us academically, but they founded us as individuals. Rockway has helped shape our understanding of the world, developed within us a keen interest in connecting with others, and has established a firm community that's passed the test of time. There's so many little things that have had a big impact. For example, knowing our teachers on a more intimate level definitely had some perks. We were forced to uh, learn a second language thanks to Weikard and his passion for French, and that will forever be remembered. That man did an entire class on French cheeses and brought in samples of brie for us to enjoy in class, for one example. Helmy, who ran the library, had to deal with us rolling chairs into the hallway to race down the seven and eight corridor. We used to think we were super sneaky because we'd hide in the back computer lab and look at silly videos and Helmy would only just shut us down from the computer at the main desk. Thank you, Helmy, for knowing that we're still good kids, despite being very annoying. Or for example, Rolf Thiessen, who would get so frustrated with me in class that he'd constantly send me into the hall to say, Cressman, go get a drink or go take a walk, Cressman. Uh, again, his patience was remarkable. For me, being able to participate in the various exchanges was massively helpful in shaping my understanding and curiosity of the world. Having been in Tiananmen Square makes reading about the student protests there all the more real and easier to imagine. Uh, particularly, our trip through China was really an amazing experience, and we got to do that together. It was only mired by the fact that Chanel lost her passport on a train mere days before we were supposed to return to Canada. Our long-suffering chaperone, Raymond Rempel, who used to teach religious studies when we were there, had to race Chanel all the way to Shanghai via taxi to meet someone at the consulate for an emergency passport uh, renewal, um, which certainly made the, uh, the last leg of the trip fairly exciting. And it's the, the teachers, faculty, staff at Rockway uh, that make up the core of the Rockway community. Uh, they share so much of themselves. I remember Steve Fister, uh, who was teaching us physics at the time, using an old skateboard to propel himself down the hallway without pushing off just to teach us the concept of vectors. I think he had uh, fun doing that for sure, but it is a lesson that really stuck with me. Or Anne Schultz leading our choir into the foyer uh, to teach us the importance of harmonizing with each other because we could hear each other better in, in the foyer. Or the aforementioned Raymond Rempel, the gentle giant. He allowed us to fundraise and paint his face green to look like Shrek after a long-standing joke of their resemblance. 
uh, as I said, he was uh, long suffering. So these people and these memories have stayed with us and and built us into who we are today. For us, Rockway is particularly special, as mentioned. It's where our love first blossomed. It was in Jim C that we first held hands uh, during a school production of 1984. We were in the audience, don't worry. And just a few years ago, we attended the most recent production of 1984, uh, again, in Jim C. This time we didn't need to hold hands. Our MSEC trip uh, to Goshen is when things really heated up. There is nothing like sitting together on a bus for hours without anything to say. Uh, boy, was that exciting. And it's from these roots that we feel so blessed to have the community that we have today. You can't go to the Kitchener Market with less than an hour and a half to spare because you're going to run into friends, friends of friends, parents of those friends of friends, ex-teachers, the list goes on, who all generally want to know how you're doing and want to check in on uh, what your life's like uh, at this point. So make sure if you go to the market, buy a coffee, get ready to share your life update. And to me, that's, that's such a gift. And it would be remiss of us not to mention the current climate, uh, climate and how grateful we are to have such a strong community. In the context of a global pandemic, mental health epidemic, our current lockdown, feelings of isolation are rampant. So being part of a community is so important for human existence and never before has it felt as cute as it does right now. Being able to walk the Iron Horse Trail, bump into a fellow Rockway alumni or a friend, to know that there's others in our community who share our concerns, our experiences, and who care about us is invaluable. To quote from today's scripture, uh, above all, clothe yourself with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. Love is the cornerstone for community, and Rockway is certainly a place filled with love. As we look to the future, we are excited to see how Rockway evolves and grows. In our uncertain time with rapidly advancing technology, climate change, political instability, a full reckoning of the social and racial inequities in our society. Uh, it is the next generation of thinkers and problem solvers that are going to shift our world for the better, and that, that's you guys. Rockway is a unique place that teaches critical thinking, evokes creativity, inspired, and inspires us to be more globally and socially minded. For me, the Rockway experience allowed for a wide range of educational ex opportunities, mixing STEM courses with arts, music, social studies, religious studies, and sports. Uh, the opportunity to participate in so many different uh, experiences led us, and I hope you as well, to have a well-rounded understanding of our world, which we think is for the better. And the best part is that the education doesn't stop when you leave Rockway. The community that you build here, it lasts a lifetime. We hope that Rockway continues to grow and adapt, finding a place in our world that it can continue to be a pillar of the community for the next 75 years to come. We hope our children can experience this community of love, education, and growth. I wonder if 75 years ago, the founders could have envisioned the Rockway that we see today. 500 friends on Facebook, alumni friends in choir, international students from across the globe, or a green room in the basement for video productions. Probably not, uh, which makes it really exciting to dream about what the next several decades will bring. Thank you for having us. Stay safe and take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Chanel and Jeremy, for your warm and generous stories, for reminding us of the joy of Rockway and that community is at the root of that joy. It is so humbling to be here, knowing that we are following in the footsteps of thousands of alumni, faculty and staff, families and volunteers. The foundation and school community they created for us feels solid, unpretentious and good.
Chapel, we shared the gift of Chanel and Jeremy's story. We are also entrusted with the stories of many others, like the student who, with his father, dug out the basement of the original barn, equipped with only a horse and a bucket, to make room for the kitchen of the Family Studies program. The remarkable young women who came to Rockway as older students in their 20s, determined to pursue nursing careers, faculty who sent many of our alumni on paths of rewarding and fulfilling careers, leaders who held high the values of a beacon of Anabaptist education, and families who continued to sacrifice much to give their children the gift of a Rockway education, and many other stories. Each one reminds us that our predecessors not only building a school, but building a legacy for those who would follow. With that legacy comes the opportunity for a Rockway education and a lifelong community. But as with any legacy, it must be protected and nurtured for future generations. Today we remember and celebrate Rockway's founding story and all those who have been a part of it and who have contributed to it since. Tomorrow, it is our turn to count ourselves in, for us to prepare for the next chapter in Rockway's story. Fate or destiny has charged us with the very unique challenge of bringing Rockway safely through a global pandemic. Just as all hands were required to the plow in 1945 to plant and grow the school, so too today we need every person of our school community to support Rockway. Who would have thought our 75th year would be so daunting? And yet, the past year has shown our faith remains strong. Our mission is resilient and our school community full of resolve. But more, it has shown that our school remains relevant and an important part of our hopes for a better future. We continue to build wonder, build respect, and build bridges. Please, Join with us on Rockway's social media to tomorrow for Founders Day online. It is one day when all of us, near and far, can rally together for the love of Rockway. There are over 4,000 Rockway alumni. Unfortunately, we have lost some, many with whom we are not in touch. We invite you to come home to Rockway, connect, and get involved. Join with alumni and our community who are cheering for Rockway on social media, reading and sharing our Reflections newsletter, participating in events, wearing their Rockway spirit wear or alumni gear, considering Rockway for their child, and yes, donating to Rockway. These are extraordinary days requiring extraordinary efforts and resources. This is our school. What will our legacy be? What does Rockway mean to you? Thank you. See you online tomorrow. If I were to describe Rockway in one word? Well, there are many words that come to mind. Holistic. Enjoyable. Energy. So it's just like a word. <clears throat> Creativity. Cookies. Belonging. Vocation. Inclusive. Music. <laughs> Connected. Friendship. Friends. I just don't want to say a word everyone else has said, but I think I gotta go with the community, so. Community. Community. Home. Home. This is um, home away from home for the kids. It's community, but a little bit more than community, so. Home.